what if you could fuse two images into one? A clothing photo and a model portrait, or a landscape and a product shot without Photoshop? In this video, I'll show you how to create multi-image AI compositions directly in Comfy UI, powered by Flux Context Dev. Real-world image edits rarely stop at one input. Maybe you want a hoodie mock-up on a model or blend a rendered product shot into a lifestyle background with matching light and shadows. With Flux Context Dev and Comfy UI, we can feed multiple references into the generation, and the model actually sees both. That means better lighting, style continuity, and far less guesswork. To make this work, we've got two different workflows prepared for you. One that stitches the images into a single canvas, and another that keeps them separate. We'll begin with the faster one. Just drag in the Flux Context Multi-Image Stitch JSON file into your Comfy UI canvas. On the left, you'll see two load image nodes. That's where your reference photos go. This method is called Stitched Canvases because the Image Stitch node combines both images into a single wide canvas, basically stitching the images together. That image then gets passed into a VAE encode node, turning it into a latent representation. From there, a single reference latent node combines that stitched image with your text prompt. Then sampling kicks off. Because everything is fed through one encode, it's fast, light, and perfect for testing visual ideas quickly. Let's try it with a real example. We'll use a front-facing photo of a hoodie on a plain white background and an image of a model in soft lighting. After loading those into the two image nodes, they get stitched into a single canvas. Here's the prompt I'm using. Replace the woman's shirt with the black sweater. Ensure the sweatshirt fits naturally on her body, following the same posture, lighting, and shadows. Make sure you've also loaded the required files. Flux Context Dev into Models slash Diffusion Models, the T5XXL encoder, and Clip L into Models slash Clip, and the VAE into Models slash VAE. And don't forget to set your output resolution. I'm using 1024 by 1024. Once you hit Generate, the Stitch, Reference, and Prompt work together to produce a clean, unified image. The hoodie maps naturally to the model's pose, the folds follow the body's shape, and lighting stays consistent across the whole image. It's fast, clean, and feels natural. If the stitched canvas method gives you weird outputs, try this alternative. It's actually the method Flux Context recommends. Load the Flux Context Multi-Image Chaining JSON into your canvas. This time, instead of combining the two images into one, each image goes through its own VAE encode node. That means each reference gets its own latent representation before they're combined in the reference latent. It starts the same way, two load image nodes for your references. Then each one feeds into a separate VAE encode node. From there, those go into separate reference latent nodes, and those are chained into your K-sampler. So instead of stitching two images first, we're treating each image independently. This can lead to more accurate results, especially when your inputs are different in size, lighting, or perspective. The output usually looks cleaner and more coherent when stitching doesn't quite work. Just one thing to keep in mind, this method is a bit slower since you're encoding each image separately, and it can also be a bit heavier on VRAM compared to the stitched method. But if you're not happy with the stitched results, this is the way to go. One more advantage to this method, it's easy to scale. Since each image is encoded separately, you can chain in even more references if needed. Say you're working on a fantasy book cover. You could bring in a character portrait, a Misty Forest background, and a glowing artifact they're holding. Just add another image to the canvas, run it through a VAE encode, and chain it into the existing reference latent nodes. The model will take all of them into account, and you still get full control over how the final image comes together. When you're working with multiple reference images in Flux Context, the way you write your prompt makes all the difference. The model already sees all the images, you just need to describe how they should come together. Let's say you've got a product shot of headphones and a studio portrait of a model. You could prompt it like this. Place the sleek wireless headphones onto the head of a female model in a professional studio setting. The headphones should fit naturally, with accurate scale and perspective. Match the lighting and shadows to the scene, with subtle reflections on the ear cups to enhance realism. The key is to describe what's in the final image, not what each reference shows individually. Be specific about the materials, the interaction between objects, and the lighting environment. That gives Flux Context a clear direction to work with. 
In my first generation, the headphones were too big. That's easily fixed by making the image a bit smaller. And that's how you can blend multiple images into one with Comfy UI and Flux Context Dev. No Photoshop, just smart prompting and powerful workflows. If this helped you out, give it a like. Maybe subscribe if you're into AI workflows and drop a comment if you got any questions. Thanks for watching.